Derek Holland with Sound Advice, a treat to hang out with Howland Pele of the Hives. Hello, pleased to meet you, sir. Great to meet you. Thank you. We're at Irving Plaza, just got off the stage. Yes, Seems like you always bring it to another level in New York. Thank you very much. Yes, that's what I try to do. Lex Hives last summer, the fifth album, produced it yourself very democratic? It was very democratic and I, I think that's why we've been around for 20 years, that everybody gets a say and, you know, it takes longer but maybe it's worth it if, you know, you want to keep going. You can have a very intense dictatorship for four years or you can have a democratic run for 20 years. Yeah, keep it going. And, you know, what I've noticed is that most people that quit rock and roll, like, they break up the band and they, they all think their life is going to be so much better because of the confidence rock and roll gave them and then they kind of creep back on stage with the tail between the legs and reunite. Come September, we'll, we're going to have to think about what to do next. And First thing I think is having a big celebration of our 20th anniversary as a band, and then we're going to look forward to making a new record, I hope. Yeah, a live album would be a natural too. Yeah, we recorded this. Maybe it's going to be a live album, I don't know. Live at Irving Plaza, perhaps. Uh, one of the great front men in rock, Howlin' Pele from The Hives, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much, it was a true pleasure. For those of you that don't know, now you know! We are international rock sensation, The Hives, thank you very much for coming. For New York One, I'm Eric Holland from WFUV.